Mouse polling rape is something very few gamers ever think about or even understand, but it's an important setting and worth you considering or at least having some knowledge about, and in this video I'm going to explain exactly what mouse polling rate is and the mouse polling rate you should use based on data from pro Fortnite players. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be the first to know when I release more educational content just like this. Okay, let's get started. What is polling rate? Polling rate is how many times a second your mouse reports its position to your computer, and polling rate is measured in Hertz, or HZ. So, if your mouse has a polling rate of 500, that means it reports its position to your computer 500 times every second, or once every 2 milliseconds. Available polling rates are generally 125, 250, 500, and 1000. Look at your screen and you'll see a table showing polling rate versus report time. As you can see, the higher your polling rate, the less time it takes for your mouse to report its position to your computer. So what polling rate should you use? Using data from ProSettings.com, I was able to analyse the polling rate of more than 150 Pro Fortnite players. I discovered that more than 95% of Fortnite Pro players use a polling rate of 1000. Look at this chart and you'll see the Fortnite players choose between only two polling rates, 500 and 1000, and nothing lower. Of course, the overwhelming majority use 1000, and that makes sense, right? As you know, when you use a higher polling rate, your mouse reports its position to your computer more often. In other words, your mouse movements will feel more responsive. Obviously, you want the least amount of lag when possible when gaming, so it makes sense to use the highest polling rate available to you. Here's how you check and change your mouse polling rate. Some gaming mice let you adjust your polling rate using the software. Logitech is a very popular brand and their mice use the Logitech gaming software that allows you to adjust the settings like DPI and polling rate, and other mice like Zowie for example have a button at the bottom to change the polling rate. But if you have an older mice then you can use a free online mouse polling rate checker tool from Zowie and I'll have the link in the description. All you need to do is click on the screen and start moving your mouse and your polling rate will be shown on the screen. It's important you consistently move your mouse or the tool will not be able to check for a response from your mouse. When I was using this tool, my polling rate sometimes dropped slightly below a thousand, but overall it was very accurate, even when testing different polling rates. To summarize, the higher your polling rate, the less lag there is between your mouse movements and when that movement shows up on your screen. So, a higher polling rate is better, especially for a fast pace and competitive shooter like Fortnite. Of course, polling rate is not to be confused with DPI, because a higher DPI isn't necessarily better, and you can check out my video explaining the best DPI for Fortnite. One thing to note in regards to polling rate is that a high polling rate puts more stress on your computer, in particular your CPU, but in general, polling rates of up to a thousand are fine with most modern hardware. Also, a high polling rate can affect the power consumption if you're using a wireless mouse, so you can lower your polling rate to help conserve power so your mouse lasts longer. Finally, you know a polling rate of a thousand is best, but don't worry if your mouse only has a maximum polling rate of 500, because the difference between 500 and a thousand is just one millisecond. In other words, you're not going to be able to notice it. You see, when you consider the delay you have from ping and the graphics card sending frames to your monitor and even your reaction time, it adds up to a lot, so the difference you have from your polling rate isn't noticeable. Anyway, that concludes this video about polling rate. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have, then leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what mouse polling rate you use. Thank you for watching. Peace.